All right, let's start putting these ornaments on, Gracie Jean. Kaysen, come put ornaments on. Try to get the ones that Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Christmas clean and decorate with me part two. In this video we will be decorating our Christmas tree as well as all of our bedrooms and then the playroom and both bathrooms, the guest bathroom downstairs and then the kids bathroom. Now this video is jam packed with cleaning and decorating for the holidays so I hope you guys are super excited about seeing this video and hopefully it motivates you guys and gets you in the holiday spirit and maybe even gives you a few ideas for decorating your home. Alright, so the first area that we are going to be decorating is our Christmas tree. I would planned on doing this in our last Christmas clean and decorate with me, but we just didn't get to it in time for the video. So we are going to be doing it today. We got our tree from King of Christmas. Clark Wiggle. <laughs> Yay! Fix the top. Yeah, we'll fix the top. It's pretty. Now, I want to say a really quick big shout out to Top Cash Back for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited to show you guys this website, and I have shown you before, but I love Top Cash Back. Top Cash Back is just a website that you would go to when you are shopping online, and you basically just Click on whatever retailer you're wanting to shop through, through their website, and then you get cash back when you make purchases just by going through their website first. It's so stinking easy. Top Cash Back has over 4,000 retailers and they offer 100% of commission back to members and because of that, they are consistently featuring higher rates than their competitors. And there's also no minimum for payout. So a lot of other companies will have a specific minimum that you have to have into your account before they'll actually pay you. But Top Cash Back does not have any minimum. So that's awesome. So for a lot of my Christmas decor this year, I shopped at Amazon, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and Target. Those are all on there as well as Dollar Tree. So when you're ready to shop, all you do is go to topcashback.com and then type in whatever retailer you're looking for. Here I'm showing you Dollar Tree. When you go to the website, then it will automatically record that you were shopping there. And this Christmas Village, y'all, I clicked on it because I was like, oh, it's online. It's so perfect. I'm actually going to show you a little DIY that I'm doing with this Christmas Village later in the video. And I was so excited because they had it on here for $13. You can get the whole village. And Dollar Tree also has now where you can shop the pick and pack so that way you can shop for things in smaller quantities because before you used to have to buy everything in bulk but now they have the pick and pack option and then that way you can purchase things in smaller quantities for like DIYs, home decor, or even stockings. So as you're watching my video today, if there's any home decor items that you see that you could purchase online, then definitely go through Top Cash Back first. And I'm going to show you my account here. I have $174 that I have earned in cash back just by shopping through their website. So if you're interested in creating your free account at Top Cash Back, then use my link in the description box and it's going to give you a $10 sign up bonus once you spend your first $25 shopping through their website. And this is the perfect time of year to sign up for your account while we're all shopping for Christmas gifts. So like I said, our tree is from King of Christmas and it is a flock tree. This is the first time we've ever had a flock tree and I must say it is so gorgeous. Last year we actually had a glitter filled tree that was from Walmart. I don't even think that they sell it anymore and it's probably because so many people complained about the glitter. But I will have this particular tree linked down in my description box. Now originally when I started decorating the tree, I was doing the ribbon flowing down, but as you can see, I ended up pulling it off and I cut it into strips because I just didn't like the way it looked with the ribbon that I had and I didn't feel like I had enough. So I started just taking pieces of the ribbon and then also some tool and some burlap and just sticking them inside of the tree and I love the way that it turned out and it's actually super cheap. This ribbon came from the Dollar Tree and the burlap I've had for years. Now that all the ribbon and everything is on the tree, we're going to start pulling out the ornaments and every single year we love to do this part together as a family and we are actually using lots and lots of handmade ornaments and then also ornaments that we have purchased or DIY'd over the years and I love having these and pulling them out and just 
looking at them every single year as a family is just so special to me. So we are going to do that now. All right, I know that I showed that clip at the beginning, but it was just too funny to not show it again. But y'all let me know, do you usually have ornaments break every year? I feel like we always have at least one, if not more, break every single year. And it's just funny that I did it because I never break the ornaments. It's usually the kids or chance, but this year it was me. A lot of you have told me over on Instagram that you do a personalized ornament every year as well. So I'd love to hear where you order yours from. We've always done personalcreations.com and then there's also a little craft fair sort of thing that comes every year here in Savannah so we can get some from there as well. But we haven't ordered ours for this year yet so we are on the lookout for our next ornament. I hear an angel choir singing. Now we're cleaning and decorating here in the master bedroom and I'm going to keep it pretty simple in here but I want it to be festive because when our door is open downstairs in the living room or in the kitchen you can see straight into our bedroom. So I did want a little bit of decor in here but I kept it pretty minimal. So for this garland I picked it up at the Target dollar spot and then the little berries are from the Dollar Tree. And then the plaid pillows that I'm using here are a purchase from last year which I think I got from Hobby Lobby. and then. My throw blanket, I actually have two of these, one in the living room, one in here. It's from Walmart and I'm pretty sure it's only like $10 online. So check that out. I will have a link to everything that I can find down in the description box too. And then that Mary and Bright pillow, I actually moved from the living room to in here and put a different pillow on the chair that I was using it on in the living room. Wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I know. This Christmas, I only want to be close to you. Now here I'm decorating our little tray in our bedroom and you're going to see me mess around with it several times before I get it the way that I like it, but I'd like it super basic and I think it turned out really cute. Whoa. 
Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I knew. Well, I'm all for Christmas. It's a magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. Moving nimbly, did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Now moving upstairs to decorate the kids bedrooms and I kept it simple in here as well I've never decorated their rooms for Christmas before but my kids were so excited when they came home from school and they saw that it was decorated and then they also got to put their little ornaments on their trees themselves so they were really excited to do that as well Now these pillows here in Kaysen's room and then one of the pillows from Gracie June's room all came in a four set off of Amazon and I just did the pillow covers and then I already had the inserts which are also from Amazon and then I got both of them little throw blankets that came from Walmart which I showed you guys in my little haul that I did for Christmas and these were only five dollars. I also put a small little Christmas tree in each of their rooms. This Christmas tree I've already had I think it was from Hobby Lobby. And then the little Christmas tree that I got for Gracie June is a pink one and it came from the Target dollar spot and it was only $3. This is what our playroom looks like right now. It is nighttime, so the lighting in here is not that great, but I wanted to show y'all before. <laughs> Holy moly, I swear, I think that they just like dumped every single basket out. We had friends over, and then we had to hurry up and leave for tumbling, so we did not have time to make the friends clean up before they left. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. So we 
are all going to come up here and clean together. I think they were doing forts yesterday too, so that was part of it. But most of this mess is from the girls. So we're going to come up here and clean this playroom and throw some stuff away and get it all back in order. And our leather couch is coming apart right here. Um, you can see that's coming off because it's fake leather, but so hopefully we can find like a slip cover or something for that, but holy guacamole. All right, so this did take us a while, but that little box is where all of our donations are going. And then we also have a trash bag for anything that we are throwing away. So we got rid of a ton of stuff and I love how the playroom turned out. It feels so much less crowded and has a lot less stuff, which I'm all about, especially since Christmas is coming up. Rudolph, my dear, the forecast ain't clear. So will you please light my way and lead this old man's sleigh? I said, Rudolph, my friend, once more will you lend? All right, I want to see you try to take that out. Oh, you're so smart. If you make it down the stairs. I'm not even looking. Could you do that? You're really good. Be careful, there's stuff on the stairs. Where? Jeez! <laughs> I mean, you want me to break my neck, don't you? <laughs> I got a good insurance policy. <laughs> So here in the playroom, I'm going to start with the couch and I'm just pulling out a few of our Christmas throw blankets. I swear we have like a bazillion of these. We get some every year from Walmart because they're always $5, but I'm going to put it over the edge of the couch where it is peeling so you can't see it. And then these Christmas pillows I shared in my haul as well. And then now I'm just going to move all the stuff off of here because I want to put our Christmas village right here on the TV stand. But first I'm going to do a quick dusting of the shelves because it definitely needed it. It was pretty gross and I'm using the end dust which I actually mentioned in my last video. I used it to clean the inside of my car and I felt like it did such a good job. So I'm going to use it up here in the playroom today as well. And I do have a link to the end dust website below in case you want to check out more information on this product. But while you're shopping at Walmart online or Amazon, you can easily add this to your cart and get top cash back for rewards. Now I decided to use our little table for holding our Christmas tree. I think we did this last year too, but the little tree skirt we've had for years and then the Christmas tree I actually got off of walmart.com. It was only $20 and then this pom-pom garland was $2.47 a package and they were I ended up getting two to make sure that it fit all on the tree. But a lot of this stuff is available on Walmart's website. So if you go through walmart.com, make sure to go through Top Cashback's website first. And then that way you can earn some cash back just like I did. Because I think the majority of my cash back probably came from my Walmart purchases. Now these are our special ornaments that go along with our devotional that we do from December 1st through the 24th. It's called A Meaningful Christmas. It is on Amazon, but all of these ornaments are actually handmade. When Kaysen was a baby, I actually hosted a meaningful Christmas ornament swap party with a bunch of other women. So 23 other women and I created these ornaments and did a huge ornament swap and now we use them every single Christmas. Now here I decided to decorate this little area and I moved the kitchen over and I wanted to do some decorations on the kitchen too because I've seen some really cute ideas on Pinterest. And so I'm going to dust this off really quick and that countdown to Christmas is actually from Target. It was $10. And then this little tiered tray I actually got from Target Dollar Spot along with the signs and I put some little fake snow inside of there and then a lot of these items I got from either Target Dollar Spot, the Dollar Tree, or Walmart. 
And I know I said this in my last clean and decorate with me video, but I like to take little bows. I got a bunch from Walmart and Target and just put them on things that I already have and make it look a little bit more Christmassy. And then all this stuff that I am putting in here was just totally random. Some stuff was new, like I said, but then the other stuff was just stuff I was trying to find around the house to just stick in here to make it look good. So a lot of that stuff was actually in our Christmas baskets from last year. All right, so now I'm starting on my Christmas Village. This was a little DIY project that I did. These are the Dollar Tree Christmas Village pieces that I showed you earlier in the video. But we actually got these from the Dollar Tree last year and I just wanted to give them a little bit of a makeover since we were doing brighter colors in the playroom. I decided to paint them pink and blue. And then when I was in Target the other day, I found these little houses and decided I would put them in with the mix and just see how it looks. After spray painting, I ended up letting them sit overnight to dry and then I took some white acrylic paint and painted the rooftops and then sprinkled on some iridescent glitter to make it look like snow. Now if you look at my little village houses close up, the painting is a little bit blotchy but I didn't really care. I thought it looked really good and I love the way this project turned out and plus it was super cheap to do. The next thing that I did was I found these little wreaths in the Target dollar spot, so I'm just using my hot glue to glue them on a few of the houses. Now I am finally putting my little village houses out, and then there are a few little churches in here as well. And then last year we also got a bunch of the little figurines. I think they come in like a three pack of each figurine set. So we have a bunch of those and then also the little bottle brush trees. Now in just a second, you're gonna get to see all of it close up when I show you the entire room. And they are so, so pretty close up. So I can't wait for you to see it. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just get better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. Now the last rooms that we're decorating are the bathrooms and we're only decorating the ones that our guests use. So we're doing the upstairs bathroom because all the kids use that bathroom when they're upstairs. And then we're also gonna do the downstairs guest bathroom because that is where all of our guests go. And I just kept the decor super simple in both of these rooms and I love the way that they turned out. Lights fill the city. There are people everywhere. The snow is falling white and pretty as 
So that is it for this clean and decorate with me part two and next Monday I'm going to be sharing our clean and decorate part three where we're going to be decorating the outside of our house and also doing a Christmas house tour. Also on Fridays I post my spend the day with me videos so I'd love for you to come hang out with me on those days as well. Now don't forget to use my link in the description box to set up your top cashback account and start earning some cash back. And if you're new, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Before you leave, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. What do you think about your tree, buddy? I don't like this part. Oh. It's like a real, it's like a mistletoe. You know what you do about like mistletoe, don't you? Now back no. to my tree. <laughs>